Hey guys, today we're going to demonstrate how to use a hydraulic ball valve pump. It's a Schwing HBV 160. We got Harold with us today. He's going to help us through this thing. Thank you. Okay, we got a HBV 160 um, ball valve, uh, which means uh, you got two balls in the lower and two balls in the top. And uh, as one uh, cylinder is pulling, uh, one ball goes up to keep the concrete from coming out of the hopper, and then the one ball slams shut when it starts pushing the other way, it allows concrete to come out. You got four balls, uh, four seats. Um, you got, and that's only for half inch concrete, uh, half inch rock, anyways, P rock. Uh, half inch all the way down to three eighths to a quarter inch. Um, to run this machine, um, you got forward, neutral, and reverse, manual lever. And then you got a, a HOS valve override that uh, when you have it in forward, you can turn the pump off and off remotely. So that's how that works. So I'll, I'll demonstrate that. Turn the machine off. If you have a plug in the system, you would put it in reverse, one stroke back, and that relieves some of the pressure off the system so you can open up a clamp without blowing yourself up. That's what that was designed for. Gotcha. And we have a flow control on this thing too, right? Also, correct. simple machines are versatile um, the downfall is uh, their aggregate size uh, you only have you know, up to a half inch rock gotcha. now as far as the rear end um, how do you make sure that this doesn't leak as much as it normally does we heard a lot of complaints with customers saying that some of their machines leak a lot what do you think that happens Okay, so um, th there's a lot of reasons why you take these off um, on the job site. Uh, if you got such a bad plug that sand now has come from the stop pin all the way back uh, to the second ball here. Um, if, that, if that's the case, you bust open your stop pins, fold it open, and you're going to have two balls here. <laughs> Make sure the balls don't fall out. Make sure the seats that hold the ball don't fall out. I've seen a lot of guys open them up, dig everything out, get everything right. The two seats fall in the concrete, the guy closes it back up, he's stepping in the pile, and of course lose the seat, and now it won't pop. So uh, yeah, that's, a, that's a big note. So uh, when you open it up, the two seats and the two balls. Now when you um, reorientate the uh, stop pins, I'm sorry, the wedge pins, um, there, there's a certain order um, on an HPV. You would tighten this one first, these two on the far end, and then the bottom to be appropriate and that would tighten the seal uh, to draw it in. Um, if you tighten the bottom or the sides, what will happen is it'll bend it down or pull it to the side and thus, you know, getting you a leak. And then as you're pumping, it's gonna be squirting grout out. Um, it'll get hard. Um, and then the next time you take this thing apart on a job site and you open it up, it won't go back together. Gotcha. The seal will expand. A lot of people complains also about the, um, the compensator. Uh, they say that really doesn't work for anything, but... Um... Okay, so, so what, what the system was designed for is, as it's pumping, this is a spring in here, um, a monitoring spring with a, with a piston on it. And what happens is, as this is pushing, this rises. And as the piston stops, this pushes down and it relieves some of the dead stops in between strokes. So that, in return, uh, lessens the jumping of the hose. The jerking. They, they do work if you have them set up properly. Um, we, we use them a uh, fairly regulatory amount and a lot of good compliments over them. Um, as long as you follow the guidelines, you gotta make sure there's oil in here. There's 10W30 that goes in here and only a quart, that, that's all. Um, and when you wash out here at, at, at the end of the day, when you bust this open to uh, wash out the hopper and the ass end, you scored up in here and get that uh, remnants of the buildup. 
out of there. And that way the piston can follow uh, uh, freely. If you don't, the, the grout will harden up, the piston will keep hitting it and damage the piston, thus bringing grout into the system, rendering it useless. And then you just have a regular two inch pump, uh, a mechanical two inch pump, and you know how jerky they get. So um, if the system's uh, maintained and set up right, it's perfect. Perfect. All right, Harold, thank you.